Good morning, you guys. Good morning from Rio de Janeiro. We are in the Nitori neighborhood exploring this area. We're gonna do the San Pedro Fish Market, a beautiful park that the Airbnb host sent us. See what we get into the day, it looks really pretty. It was horrible looking this morning, but now we're getting somewhere. So we're gonna have, uh, check out the fish market and have, oh, it's the opposite way, okay. We're gonna check out the fish market and have lunch, yum. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel time is flying on this wild central and south america trip we're down to our second to last stop basking in the sun of rio de janeiro we are making the most out of this stop but it's crazy to think it's almost over rio has always been on our bucket list and we're not missing a thing if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell take a seat and let's dive into rio So this is the fish market. We're not gonna walk all the way through because it smells like fish. We're just gonna go upstairs to get to the restaurants because we really came here for lunch. But if you wanna get like super fresh seafood, definitely come and check it out. So let's see what's going on over here. All right, so we just walked in. Um, we stopped at two different uh, places. I think there's like six restaurants. But this guy, he was really helpful and um, trying to translate. He showed us his Instagram, trying to give you know show us the pictures so we kind of get an idea of what these things are because we have no idea what anything is. Trail, I don't, I don't know. So we got some fish. I think this is what the place looks like. I'll show you what we got. It looks like a fried fish. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I don't know. So we're gonna get like a side or something to go with it And I'll, I'll let you know exactly what's happening over here. But yeah, so this is pretty much the menu um, He did bring it out in English too See if you can see the, oh no, that's the drink menu and then they have yeah, they have a ton of stuff like fried calamari um, Fried fish grilling mussels uh, Mashed potato Address and everything so yeah just gonna order some stuff and see what what comes out at this point oh my god you guys this food is so freaking ridiculous it is so good like this it tastes like what we call cassava in Jamaica it is so creamy on the inside, it's super crunchy on the outside. It has like a sweet taste to it. It's different than cassava, but it's close. I don't know. It is. Look, this, what is this, you guys? This thing is so bomb, and the fish. We just ordered another um, order of uh, the fish fillet that we saw everybody get into. So I'm like, let me try that. This one that we got, so let me show you. It had is like the whole fish with the heads and everything. But we ordered one that's just the fillet. I cannot wait to get it. Okay. And my uh, Capriana is this thing. He threw like just like let me throw alcohol and let there be alcohol. That was literally what he said. <laughs> because I'm probably a little bit tipsy at 12 o'clock in the day. All right, so we're gonna continue eating, enjoy. The kids are looking at me like I'm crazy. But yeah, so good. Like. Oh my gosh you guys that lunch was so amazing i'm still feeling that drink it is crazy like like i said that man said let there be rum okay and there was rum <laughs> so now we're gonna call an uber this is where we were staying it is over in this side so to get over to rio center it is quite a trek but it's been okay so far and it's still cheaper even with paying ten dollar uber each way it's still cheaper than if we stayed in like copacabana or something it was like 200 and something dollars a night and over here we pay 294 for the five nights or how many five nights yeah so that was a horrible you know based on how expensive this city is for a short-term stay 
um, yeah so we're just gonna explore over here today go to the park and I maybe no I don't think we can make it to the fortress it's probably gonna be closed soon but tomorrow we have the Christ the Redeemer of course you know the the big one the perfect day we're gonna do that tomorrow and do the um, botanical garden maybe the park Parque Lodge log so, so something yeah we're gonna do that tomorrow um, I was gonna do the sugar mountain but Gerald is like oh if we go up to uh, Christ the Redeemer why do we need to go up something again and overview the city <laughs> they don't want to go up two things so probably just gonna do one and then just figure out the rest of the day but yeah we're just gonna continue on with our day today tomorrow is our last day well that's assuming everything goes perfect and we see the Christ the Redeemer and everything if not then of course we extend because I haven't booked anything but we're just gonna do the bus from here to uh, Sao Paulo and this was the Sao Paulo Sao Pedro market you guys not San Pedro I've just been all over the place like yeah so we're gonna do Sao Paulo next and we're just gonna do the bus because when I looked at tickets it was like $700 for all three of us but the bus is like $70 so I'm like mm, that's like 600 and something dollars in savings I'm not yeah six hour bus we're gonna do that and then we figure out what's going on from there we, we're either gonna drop back into the States and I'll give you the story on why we're going back to the States so early or we're gonna do another city in Brazil but I'll let you know you guys so we ubered and the uber left us the uber left us like right there and i don't see the park i don't know where the park is <laughs> i don't know where the park is it's her fault it's my fault jura's the one who no, who pinned the uber okay and it says but yeah i don't know where the park is so we're gonna figure that out in a second and google maps is saying we're in the park it don't make no sense but look at this look how beautiful this is oh my goodness yeah you guys uber drops us at the wrong place like this is nowhere near where the park is we're supposed to be up on that hill somewhere but i could see on his map it said to drop us like a minute away Bail from where he dropped us <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense because when we put it in and when we look at it it says parque de curidad but we're not there so i'm like i'm pissed i want my money back because we don't know where to go know what to do we don't have no wi-fi <laughs> oh my god you guys we're lost in these real streets oh my gosh yeah we have to figure out our life see where to go if we're even gonna make it up there what to do but yeah the struggle is so real All right, you guys, so we're trying to figure out where the rest of the park is because this is the only access that we can find. <laughs> and people are just sitting here. And I'm like, okay, so where's the rest of the park? The Airbnb owner said, you have to go to the park. They have beautiful views. I'm like, yeah, this is a beautiful view, but is this it? Yeah, I'm sitting down because my struggle is real. Where's the rest of it? I don't know what to tell you guys. I can't say I recommend coming up here because... <laughs> Now we're stuck up here with no Uber, like you probably have to have a ride to get around. I, don't, I didn't even see like a different turn off or whatever to access, but on the maps it's showing a big park, like huge. But I have no idea where else to go because this is the only place everything else is like blocked off. There's a little restaurant right at the front. That's it. That's literally it. I mean the views are amazing I'm not gonna say it's not probably could get these these views from up can you see Christ the Redeemer you probably can't see it from the camera but it's up there I can see it from here which is crazy but yeah <laughs> today was one of those days where things just did not go as planned we ubered over here walked did all this and <coughs> I don't know what we getting from I mean I'm getting a beautiful view it's a you know chill day 
but could I use this day to see more of Rio itself instead of over this side over the bridge I don't know if you can see the bridge there so we're over this side and they take the bridge and that's Rio center over there and that's Christ the Redeemer up there you can see far far away I'm squinting because the sun is in my eye so we're gonna go up there tomorrow because we saved the best for last a little bit <laughs> hopefully tomorrow is beautiful too oh there's a kids section right here if you want to come and have the kids play in the monkey house in <laughs> the monkey bars and all that there's swings and I think there's parts down the other down that way because when you look at the map you can see there's a section back there but I'm just confused you guys and the kids are so over me and over it they always go oh we just want to go we don't want to find out and i'm trying to find out where where we should go next because it's such a beautiful day like it's really pretty and if you're going to the beach if you don't like all the haggling and a gazillion people come over here like the beach that we were at earlier just walking people just a few locals were swimming that was it like maybe five people on the entire beach it was ridiculous so, so if you want to do something like that I would say come over here you're not gonna you know meet you're not gonna be in the Copacabana kind of craziness with people trying to sell you something every two seconds and loud music and a gazillion people just come over this side all right so we ended up coming back down um, the park when you look at the map it is huge like it is gigantic wait i'm like where are we going it is gigantic you guys so you definitely need a car to get around to the different uh, viewpoints and spots <laughs> so we just did that one because the kids were just being like i'm not walking i don't want to walk blah 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 so it was just one of those things so definitely get a car walk um to get to the different spots get out walk around and then you know drive to the next spot because you i saw some people biking <laughs> and their biking was a struggle okay the hills are so steep going down is fine going up you're not gonna make it unless you're like super fit and you know you mountain hike all the time or something or mountain mountain bike but those people were struggling to get up that mountain that hill so the park is a good choice if you have a car all right so now we're just gonna go find some dinner we went in we rested we chilled and then now we're gonna go find food we're walking in the local area it's like a ton of people coming from work or just going about their business I'm gonna give you like glimpse of it it's a little bit dark I need to change my setting but oh my gosh it is so many people it is crazy and it's just food everywhere people selling in stalls this is so cool I love it we were struggling to find like supermarkets and stuff and there's like so many different stores we're passing down here it is crazy walking in the small plaza it is so big so so many people we're trying to find some food we don't want any more <laughs> rice and beans you guys we had it twice in a row well we did eat chick uh, fish today but we want something different but this place is crazy packed Jarrell says he wants where Jarrell says he wants uh bobs so we're gonna see what else we can find Hey guys hey good morning it is the big day it is christ the redeemer day my kids are looking at me as usual it is christ the redeemer day or uber is waiting we're hurrying to go down so i will take you with us show you what's happening this is the fit and i never do fit because i don't have fit i just drag something on but i'm looking a little bit decent today so hey 
all right so we are here you guys that traffic the traffic here has been just totally ridiculous like i could not live here at all i haven't been getting the live here vibes anyway but i couldn't so this traffic is ridiculous so we're finally at the train station i'm gonna head over figure out how to board we bought our tickets online so definitely do that and we got a time and everything for the train to get up so buy your ticket online and then just head down here and we are here look at this view oh my goodness and it's a gazillion people up here too so just be prepared of course it's a tourist attraction Whew, lots of stairs but look the first look fire spreading all around my room my world's so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right Hush. Look at the monkey, is he posing for pictures? He's literally posing. He's holding out his hand. Oh, oh. They better move their stuff because he will steal stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, like I know about those Thailand and Vietnam monkeys. Those South Southeast Asian monkeys. Okay, they'll take everything and run. All right, you guys. So we came down. And we were gonna go to the botanical garden, but that's closed. Then we we're going to gonna go to the other park, which is Parque L A G E. See, I'm not even pronouncing it. Large. Parque Large. Yeah. I'm thinking it's large, but I've been mispronouncing everything. So. But yeah, so um, but we're starving, and the kids want to eat Bob's Burger one more time before we leave tomorrow. Yeah, it's way better than McDonald's, guys. So the just come back down, uh, walk the promenade, have Bob's, get it in before we leave. Think I want another Kai Priana, kind of chill. It is a sunny day. The, remember, I told you the last two days said it was gonna be cloudy overcast and today was gonna be sunny and it, it is sunny the sun is sunning okay and then because it's not a Sunday the um, place isn't crazy so like when we were walking down here Sunday like you couldn't even walk them on the people that were here even on the beaches and now there's like nobody so if you don't want to be in a gazillion people crowd come on a non weekend day and you'll be fine that's some good food you guys so good <laughs> such a pretty day you guys such a pretty day we're just walking a little bit then we're gonna head back because i haven't booked an airbnb haven't booked a bus ticket we leave tomorrow morning yeah i haven't done anything and it's like four o'clock so i need to go home and figure out our lives but yes, it is a little bit sad because it's winding down to our uh, last few days out in the streets. Well, for now, not like, you know, forever. Just until we head back, I'll give you the entire story on that too. But yeah. Yep, bittersweet, bittersweet. We're just walking down to the beach a little bit just to get a closer look. We didn't come down here um, the last time we came, so just looking, looking. It's beautiful. Wow. Look, it's so full. Well, better than the other day, but still pretty. Rages 
so I guess at evening time they set these up where you can just walk in the shop when we were here on Sunday we saw them doing something but we were here earlier in the day but now it's evening going into night and they're all set up so if you want to shop or do whatever you can definitely come see what's going on here 